When disarming the Karamojong by force, the conduct of the Ugandan army has not always been exemplary. Although many claims of massacres by the Ugandan army are exaggerated, in the initial few months of forceful disarmament, large numbers of Karamojong were killed. This has sometimes been because of the use of powerful helicopter gunships. In the dry season, the gunship's cannon can be devastating. Tightly packed for defence against raiders, Karamojong villages burn quickly if strafed by helicopters. Evidence of the helicopter's power can be seen in the damage to these rocks, which were peppered by rockets and cannon fire when warriors took refuge here. When the history of army disarmament in Karamojoland is taken into account, it is easier to see why the army uses excessive force. In the 1980s, battles with the Karamojong often ended in defeat, costing the army hundreds of lives. These warriors have confronted the Ugandan army several times. Several times they have confronted the Ugandan army, not only the, the Museveni army, the, the several governments that have come in, into, in Uganda. The warriors have ever clashed with any army. And so, uh, most of these clashes have always, have always been to their success. The warriors have always succeeded in, their, in these clashes. And uh, when they clash, several guns are, are gone. And they, they defeat the army, and they chase them. So they captured guns, basically? Yeah, by the, those, those, those they kill. Because sometimes they, you find they have killed 50, 50 soldiers, sometimes uh, 100. One time here, they killed 200 soldiers in some area in the south. When was that? That was 19, 1987. They killed 200 soldiers here. When warriors are disarmed, the Ugandan army usually impounds their cattle in order to sort out which are stolen and which are not. During this process, cows are frequently stolen by the army. In this case, the man in yellow spotted his animals on a truck after they had been sold to a trader by the army. Incidents of this kind of theft by the army are common, and there are few ways in which the army can be held to account for its actions in Karamoja land. So you, bought, you know the person you bought the cow from? From an individual or from a group? Yeah. You still recall of that person of what attire, warrior, soldier, townman, trader? Now somebody said it. They you know, there are these animals normally which are suspected to be con having this one of the stolen animals. So why did they, why they identify, identify one cow, they arrest all those animals, and then the owners go out to make sure they recover the, the stolen animal from somewhere else. Because that one is taken as an exhibit. And uh, where, if the rest of the animals disappear, the same animals where the stolen cow was caught. It's definitely to be used to compensate the animals lost. What is this? So that's the meaning of impounding. Mm. Fools! We have given we have given them the guns and they're collecting our animals. That is bad. That's bad. They are threatening us with their guns and they, and they collect our properties. This is very bad. Fears arose that the man was leaving to fetch a hidden gun. You would see guns here. People would be start fighting now. They would be straight. And they would kill people here. But, yeah, oh. <laughs> the guns are there, but if these people go, they can even ambush them on the way. It's very dangerous. <laughs> animals. Animals, they would like to die for an animal. Not for anything else but animals. <laughs> <laughs> so don't give them a permit until he overflows. Thankfully, he was calmed down, and after some discussion, his cows were returned to him. Not all disputes are settled this peacefully. The Uganda Human Rights Commission is active in the region, but it is hampered by underfunding and often cannot afford the transport costs to investigate abuses in the more remote areas.
there are his. There are some by the Which is not fair, isn't it? Yeah. I think we shall tell the brigade commander. About it. Because you know that rumor has been there, but they were denying it. But this is now evidence. <laughs> Ultimately, the little-known Karamoja situation does appear to be getting better. However, with abuses by the army taking place, resentment and mistrust of the government will linger on. Therefore, a stable relationship between the people of Karamoja and the Ugandan state may never occur. If the region's history can be used as an indicator, then the recent disarmament success may only be temporary, and the resulting decrease in violent cattle raids may only amount to yet another lull in an otherwise endless conflict.